welcome back everybody. So today I wanted to do a product review on the Mr. Beer 1.5 gallon glass fermenter. Now uh, from Amazon, I'll put a link below. They do call this a one gallon, uh, but it is a 1.5 gallon. Now uh, I have been using this and if you've been following my channel, I've also done a review on the Mr. Beer two gallon kit, which is more like a cask than it is um, an upright jar. You know, usually when you see something like this, you think of serving lemonade or something like that out of it. Uh, I think they, I don't know how long these have been out, but it almost seems like they made this for kombucha, but I could be wrong. Um, comment down below if you know why they made this one. Um, again, like I said, uh, I have been using this for small batch beers. We have a ton of those plus a ton more to come out. But I wanted to do this just to go over what this is like and then in a future video, I will do a video comparing the two gallon Mr. Beer versus the 1.5. So obviously this is uh, all glass, very wide mouth, which is good if you're doing small batches of beer. Uh, you can put a lot of stuff on there, in there, and you can clean it out easy. You do have, I'm gonna just say like a picnic handle uh, tap uh, up front. It is locked down with two gaskets. There's a gasket on the outside, a gasket on the inside. It is a plastic one. Uh, then you have a plastic nut that you turn on. Um, one thing I was actually thinking this one was going to leak because when they drilled the hole, I don't know how they put the hole in these, but it's, it's like cracked or it's like shaved off. Um, so if you do buy one of these, along with any other fermenter, uh, if it's one gallon, two gallon, five gallon, six gallons, make sure you test them with water. Fill it up with water, let it sit for about an hour and see if it leaks before you use it. But mine doesn't leak. So along with this, you also get a gasket. Now the weird part about this is I think they make these, they do not get them made in. Um, I'm sure you guys won't be able to see it, but I can tell where this has been cut then glued back together. I am not going to pull on this because I don't know how strong that is, but it has been working uh, for me. You also have a lid, obviously, that goes on the top. Now, this one does dis differ from the two gallon that it does have a top hole that the airlock goes on. Now this is the airlock. Uh, it has half holes cut in it. How many are there? There's four. And what you do is actually thread this on to the top of the cap, which I didn't know the first couple times and I just jammed it down in there. Um, and then what that does is it seals, but those half holes in there let um, you know, everything out without letting stuff into it. Uh, it there are holes in the very top, so this is uh, the, the, the ring around it does have an inner ring um, that's in there, so it is letting air in and air out. Now, the problem I see with this is if you, uh, let's say make a meat or something that's very, very sweet in the summer and there's fruit flies or even flies, they could get up into this just because of that. So you will have to be careful. I have never had a problem with it, but I'm just saying if you have a lot of insects around, they could get into this very easily. Now, uh, this top cap, once you seal this thing down, it is a pain to get off. I don't know if it's because of the big threads or if it just really crunches down on that, on this gasket, but I have a hard time getting the top off if I want to check the gravity or add like a hot bag to this. It's almost impossible. What I've started doing is after I make a batch of beer, I fill it up, 
I put the top on it. Then when I go to pitch the yeast, I actually use the top hole. I just unscrew this and then dump my yeast in there. Then for my dry hopping, I also put my dry hops in there also. So that way I don't have to try and keep getting uh, this top off. Uh, the only time I take the top off is when uh, I need to clean it. So when I get it finished and I go ahead and bottle it, uh, just use this and then once it's done, then I can reef on the top to get it off. But it's been good. It is nice. Uh, it's clear. You can see fermentation happening happening in there when you add that yeast. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I do like watching that yeast move everything around. Also, you can see when that yeast head starts to die. The only issue I have with this one is there is not markings on this to tell you where one gallon is and where 1.5 at least with the two gallon version on the very back they have a one and i think a two so and maybe i don't know because i've never checked it because i go by weight is maybe this line or something is half a gallon i i, I don't know but it would be nice if they would make a mark on here or something to tell you where one gallon is we're doing one gallon batches so into the fermenter we do uh 1.25 gallons but overall it works well the uh the gasket on the inside is a different color now that we've been using it. I think it's had five or six batches in it. So uh, it has discolored. I'll put a picture of that up, but it does not look like the outside one. Now, I have not taken this apart to fully clean it. Usually uh, what I do is I will bottle, I will clean it, it will sit in sanitizer for a day. The next day I will make another batch, fill it up and go. Uh, so at some point here around 10 to 15 batches, I will take it all apart, really clean it. But for the most part, uh, the beer has not been bad, so I have not worried about it. Um, so yeah, definitely one. Also, you could cold crash in this if you wanted. Uh, I know some people that once fermentation's done and they're ready, they'll just take this whole thing, put it in their fridge. It is compact. It should fit on a shelf. And then once it's cold crashed, you can bottle it and go from there. Uh, but yeah, it does have uh, the, the front and back opening. So if you were filling up, uh, say, a 32 ounce, uh, bottle or uh, growler or holler um, you could just open it and it'll stay open uh, but yeah it's worked well I haven't had any problems I do like that it's glass you can get in there and uh, scrub it and not have to worry about the plastic scratching but yeah I think the the major downfall uh, for some people will be this type of airlock because stuff can get in whereas if you have an S or a three-piece airlock nothing's getting in there except for very small gnats where bigger stuff can get in this one then like I said I don't know how long this is going to last because it is cut then glued back together I also have seen some reviews on Amazon saying that these leak and they cannot get them to stop so uh that could be an issue i again have not had an issue like that and i'm more than five batches into it so hopefully you enjoyed this video thumbs up if you did thumbs down if you didn't make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out and until next time happy brewing